Hello and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be going over how we can download and play games with the Xenia emulator. It's really simple to get up and running so let's get into it. Okay so the first thing you're going to want to do is come to Xenia's website and then go to download. I'll leave a link in the description to the download page. Okay so once you're on here you're going to want to click on master. That'll get the zip downloading. Okay so just click on the zip file and then we're going to want to extract all. Okay, I'll just move this to the desktop to make things easier. So, first thing we're going to want to do when we open this up is create a new folder. We're going to call it portable.txt, like that. Okay, the next thing we need to do is open up the exe for Xenia and then click off of it. So now we've got the license and we've got the config file. This has an extension of TOML but that doesn't mean that we can't just open it up in Notepad so we'll do that now. Okay so these are all the settings. Feel free to look for all these settings and change whatever you feel like. I'm just going to show you a, a common one that's quite useful for knowing so so if we just press Ctrl and F on the keyboard and we're going to want to type in license, we'll find that. Okay, if you want to play an Xbox Live arcade game, then you're going to want to change this to a 1. If you're playing a disc game, then you just go, well, leave it as 0. Uh, I'm just going to be playing a disc game today, so I'll just leave it as 0. Also make sure that if you're changing any of these settings, make sure you save the file. Okay, so let's close out of here. Okay, so now we can get to the fun part, actually playing the game. So you're just going to want to double click VEXE and then go to File and then Open. So I've got Halo 3 to play, but obviously most 360 games will work. I'll leave a link in the description to a compatibility list that you can check to see if a specific game that you want to play actually works. So we'll open this. And there we go, Halo 3 running on PC. If you are playing full screen then just go to display and then full screen or just press F11 on your keyboard. To play the game you can use a Xbox One controller or an Xbox 360 controller. It can either be wired or wireless. The only issue is you can't use other controllers natively. I'll just be using an Xbox One controller. Okay, just to show it works, I'll start a, a new campaign. Uh, I'll go on Heroic. And here we go, Halo 3 for the Xbox 360 running on a PC emulator. You can tell this is the Xbox 360 version because if I go on here, as you can see, these are the Xbox 360 menus. You may also notice some lag when you first load up. That's because all the shaders are still loading in. But if you give it some time and if you relaunch it, then it'll run better. Chief. I'm just going to shoot some of these, see what happens. Bravo team, this is Johnson. Got it. I have a feeling it's probably not going to like it. Oh, out. damn. Oh. No one seems to be bothered. Alright, cool. 
about to shoot the Arbiter. Where's he at? What? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, lad? He really is not bothered. Oh! Uh. Oh. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. I'm glad he's not too bothered. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you feel like this has helped in any way, then feel free to subscribe to the channel and also like the video. Um, and if you want some more emulator setups in the future, then just leave a comment and I'll try and do as many as I can. Okay, thank you for watching.